Welcome to the Tiger K channel. What you're looking at here is the Fort Payne General Hospital. It's been abandoned for several years. It's supposed to have been uh, destroyed or demoed for years, but something keeps uh, interfering with it. I remember when this was a, a really nice hospital. This was the main entrance. My oldest daughter, she was born in this hospital. It, had, it was in really nice shape when they closed it. It was just bought out by a, a hospital conglomerate that's just a profit hospital. They built a new hospital over close to Interstate 75. Old Coke machines in here. hospital had been remodeled and they were adding on to it when it was bought out and uh, they just uh, closed it and moved over to the new hospital just left it set and it set for years set for years and then they finally had an auction auctioned it off sold it for uh, $150,000 <laughs> this is a huge building and they uh, took it and made it into a nursing home which was a really good idea but it turns out after a few years, oh, about four or five years, it wound up that the nursing home was just a front for a drug lab they had put in the basement. So they closed it, and it's been sitting here ever since. It's probably been sitting here for, uh, I know, 40 years sitting here vacant and then they uh, hired a guy actually a guy I know personally to uh, take it down and I don't remember what he done but he he wound up uh, cheating the the city some way or another and then he he tore out a lot of the metal sold it And then it just stopped after that. And it's been sitting here ever since. Back here was the emergency room. <laughs> it's amazing to me because it used to be a really nice place. They're still trying to get it torn down. 
trees growing up there on the ledge. Some big ballers. I guess that was the heating system. Nothing much here. Like I said, this was like brand new when they closed it. There wasn't nothing wrong with it. It was back when hospitals actually cared about the community and didn't overcharge you things like that. The hospital that took its place, it's a profit hospital. So uh, they make a profit one way or the other. Won't wait too much longer till they tear it completely down. This parking lot here and over there on that hill where the truck is, they had, was building a new addition to the hospital when they closed it. They just built this back section on here as a rehab center. It's brand new. It's amazing how it, how much waste they are in everything. Doctors had offices all around this. There was a drugstore up here on the corner. This is a thriving uh, medical center. And they just shut the door on it.
the signs up there were saying private property, but it's been that way for years. They won't get in trouble if we just look at it a little bit. Like I said, this section here was brand new. This is what 40 years of neglect looks like. Seems like the ceiling is always the first thing that falls down. You hear water dripping everywhere. Yeah, I won't go no further down there. It all looks pretty much the same. Don't look like it was ever brand new the way it looks now. Water. Water is what seems like damages. Anything more than anything. Old fireplace. Old record player. Office. <laughs> yeah, looks like an office, all right. Pretty spooky. Pretty spooky. See if that, if they hadn't contracted that guy to tear this down, he wouldn't be in this big a mess. He just got in here and stripped out what he wanted to and just left it in a bigger mess than it already was. So far was the front entrance. I thought we could get to the front entrance, but uh, because I remember it well, it was, it was nice. close to the, the main entrance. Yeah, this looks like it here. Here it is. Oh, wow. Don't look like what I remember. Mm. 
remember there was a nice uh, gift shop in here. I never have understood why people write graffiti all over everything. Why don't they just look at it and leave it alone? But everywhere that uh, been abandoned for a while. People get in and just uh, beat it up and, and pay money to buy paint for graffiti. Oh, here's the elevator. <laughs> I remember uh, going up that elevator when my daughter was born. I was uh, stationed in California in the Army, and I come home when she was born, just for the weekend. I was, I guess I was AWOL. I wasn't supposed to leave. I just caught a flight and flew home for the weekend. Oh, the fountains. I remember now, that's what the uh, the nursing home was called. Here's a old check for two hundred fifty-six dollars. <laughs> yeah, they uh, that was a good idea, and they got it cheap. You thought they could have made money, but uh, I guess they could make more money with drugs than they could with. Uh, Taking care of uh, elderly people, I guess. Huh. Old mattress. I guess that's some of the rooms when it was a nursing home. You don't need to walk in it. All these rooms look similar. Kind of interesting. A corridor here. Old Pella. elevator. I don't imagine it works. This was the kind of the, this was the new section they had added on here. I mean it was brand new. Getting up close to the roof. Oh, look at 
like this. Out on the roof. There's a, that green building over across the street. Is a nursing home. Just want to open that. Back out on another roof. This must be the highest point. Right down there's the front entrance. You can see where they used to be. They put a fountain in there when they was calling this the fountain. You think if they didn't pay but $150,000 for this building and it was in really good shape, that they could have uh, made money and it kept the building building going but I guess their intentions was to make it a drug place in the first place I didn't count how many floors this was It's dark down there. I don't think that was the floor I came in. I don't believe it was. Oh, well, just better watch where I'm going. Well, it may have been the floor I came in. Well, this will probably be the last anybody will see of this hospital. They'll probably tear it down within the next year or two. I just wanted to see what it looked like before it was tore completely down. Yeah, looks like it's just all more of the same. Old computer monitor. It's a little cool in here. Like I said, the, all the doctors that worked at the hospital, they had their offices. That was Dr. Isabel's office there. Chiropractor office now. They was the 
four pain drugs was over there across the street. It held on after the hospital closed for a long time. It's a big building. Big building. City wanted to try to hang on to part of the building anyway for a for a storm shelter. It's a shame they couldn't have, but it's in such bad shape now. So I doubt if there's anything you could do with it now. Over here was the uh, Fort Payne Drugs. It stayed in business long after the hospital closed. Well, we went completely around it, back at the front entrance. This used to be landscaped and Pretty place. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to subscribe and hit like and the uh, bell beside the subscribe, if you'll click on hit, you'll get a notification when I've got another video. And I try to put one on. Uh, two or three times a week or at least once a week thanks for watching